Did you like what you just saw? Let me show you how you can do it easily. Stick around. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back for another video. For those who are new, my name is Back again. I'm an Amorai radiographer. So in my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced Amorai topics, tutorials, troubleshooting, just like this one. So if you already haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can easily perform native true FISP renal arteries. So without further ado, let's go to the scanner and I will show you. All right, we are currently at the 1.5 Tesla. And uh, I'm going to use uh, a few things here, which I'm going to show you some tips and tricks. So the first thing I already did was a haze localizer, as you can see here. And the next thing I'm going to do is a one slice localizer, a dynamic localizer, which I showed you earlier on my earlier video. So you can check that video right here. So let's run this sequence right there. So we're going to try to position it there, the coronal plane. Just gonna to try to find the kidneys right there. It takes around three seconds. You get very good dynamic images of the kidneys. And the patient is just breathing freely. Okay, as you can see there, the kidney is moving up, down, up and down. So now it's easy for me to position the kidneys, right? Or renal arteries. So the navig navigator, I'm positioned at the highest point of the liver part. As you can see there, since it's free breathing, and then I'm trying to angulate the navigator a little bit away from the kidney areas, or you will get a dark band right going right through your kidneys. I'm trying to position it in two planes, of course. And then I do a manual shimming because it's a truth is based sequence. It's uh, banning artifacts, it's easily uh, arise. So I'm trying to shim it very specific to the, the kidneys, the area of interest. Always in two planes. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going into the physio, signal one, and capture cycle. So I capture the cycle of this currently patient I have in the scanner. And then just scan it. And then I'm carefully looking at this respiratory graph and take a closer look at how the patient is breathing. So it's important that it's breathing uh, consistent and its acceptance window is around 43, so it's very good actually. So I can accept that. I just run the sequence. All right, so the sequence is done now. I'm going to show some post processing possibilities in 3D mode directly at the scanner. So locate your sequence, drag and drop it into the 3D mode right there. So in here you have different possibilities. You can do a MIP, TIN, MIP, MPR, whatever you want, curve. I'm going to show you all that today. So you see here, if you hover your mouse over this icon, you can see it says MIP thin. So it's easy for you to know where it is. And this one is MIP. So let's try to use the MIP first. So in front of here, you have this artifact. It's probably from the ECG. Nevertheless, it's not affected your area of interest. Just to say that. You can also curve that by using this icon right up there, like this. So if you're fooling around with a lot of things and you uh, lose your orientation, you can just go to orientation right there and push that button down there default orientation. So we get back to where you started. Let's check the MIP. So in front of here, this artifact is bothering me. So what you can do is you can cut this out. This icon down there, it says void punch mode. And activate this pencil right there. 
and you can draw a void around with the area we want to erase. And then you have this icon, remove inside, and the other icon is remove outside. But of course, we want to remove what's inside, right? So it's like that. And then you can do MPRs. So you can either save it with a name, save as, give it a name and save as, or you can use a default name and just send it directly to PAX. It's much faster, but then they will get a, but then you will get a standard name. You can do it sagittal way, whatever you want. So let's check out the curve function. You have a few curve things you can do here. So let's check the curve ranges first. So activate the current window you want to use. Now it's kind of Turkish blue. You can then draw a line and at the same time uh, scroll up and down to find, you see it, scroll up and down to find the renal arteries. So if you're happy with that, you can just save it. Or you can use what is called curve mode. Do the same here, I'm drawing a line through the renal arteries. And then I just double click when I'm happy with that. So we get results like that. Well, that's it guys. I hope you find this video valuable and easy to understand more about the, the native TrueFisp. So before we close up, I do have a question for you. I usually perform this technique, native TrueFisp renal arteries. If so, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, do not forget to push the like button and hit the subscribe, hit on the notification bell so you will get a ding ding whenever new things for me are coming up. Until I catch up with you, thanks for staying to the far end of this video. I see you around. Peace out.